Hey everybody, Miss Molly from Security Public Library with another Storytime Tuesday. Hope everybody's doing really great, enjoying the last bit of summer vacation. And I thought since it's the last week of summer vacation and it's so bright and sunny outside, I would share a book about bubbles since that's one of my favorite things to do outside. And instead of my super awesome, really funny jokes, I would show you a fun bubble thing that you can do at home. So to do this fun bubble thing, you just need a plastic bottle, plastic water bottle will work, and you just cut the top off so there's about that much left. And then you take a sock, uh, any kind of sock will do. I happen to have a baby sock handy, so that's what I have here, but any kind of sock will work. And you're just gonna stretch it out really, really, really far, and you're gonna put it over the top of your water bottle so that it's nice and flat and tight across the top like that. Yeah, all right, awesome. And then, you're gonna take a cup filled with bubble solution and you're going to just dip it in the very top, not too, too much. You don't wanna make such a mess. Although if you're doing this outside, that's probably better than inside on the library carpet. Shh, don't tell, okay? All right, and then, you ready? One, two, three. <laughs> bubble ropes! Ready, one more. So cool, right? It's like super fluffy. You can play with it. <laughs> so I hope you guys like that. And you can do that, like I said, with any kind of sock, any kind of water bottle. Um, yeah, have fun. Other things you can do with bubbles is make your own bubble wand out of a pipe cleaner. Or you can try to make super big bubbles with any kind of round surface, as long as it's, it's empty inside. Um, Lots of fun bubble things. You can find them all on Pinterest. Uh, but our bubble book today is called The Big Bad Bubble. Super scary, right? All right, first we have to wave and say hello. You ready? We wave and say hello. We wave and say hello. With our friends at story time, we wave and say hello. All right, Big Bad Bubble. You may not know this, but when a bubble pops, it doesn't just disappear. It reappears in La La Land, where the monsters live. Pretty scary looking monsters, huh? For some reason, all of the big scary monsters are afraid of bubbles. Oh, Herbert, what's the matter? Bruvel, why are you running away? Wumpus, stop crying. Tell Wumpus to stop crying. Stop crying, Wumpus. It turns out it's all Mogo's fault. When he was little, a chewing gum bubble attacked his face, and since then, all I can talk about is how dangerous bubbles are. Bubbles are sneaky. You never hear them coming. Where there's one bubble, there are many bubbles. They travel in packs. Summer is the worst time for bubbles. That's when they go into a feeding frenzy. Don't listen to Mogo. He has no idea what he's talking about. Now, I'll admit, it's a bit surprising when a bubble suddenly appears out of nowhere, but that's part of the deal when you live in La La Land. On the plus side, donuts grow on trees, and the rent is really cheap. You like to live in that big house? I know, right? Hey, look! Here comes a bubble now. Yerbert, stop running around in circles. You have giant fangs. Ah, oh, Fruful, climb down from that tree. Look for your claws. You have pointy claws. Ah, oh, Wumpus, get out from under the covers. You're too big, bed, too big for that bed anyhow. Bubbles kill thousands of monsters every year. No, they don't. Well, yeah, prove it. Look, here's a bubble now. It's just a thin layer of soap and water wrapped around a ball of air. It's soft and delicate and it couldn't hurt a fly. You can pop it with a finger. Pop, see? Herbert, use your fangs. Rufal, use your claws. Wumpus, don't be scared. It's just a teeny tiny. Oh, hmm, that is kind of a big one. He's a goner. Quiet, Mogo. Wumpus, you can do it. Tell Wumpus you can do it. You can do it, Wumpus. <gasps> Kaboom! See, Mogo doesn't know what he's talking about. There's no reason to be afraid. Enjoy your bubble gum, Yerbert. Have fun popping that bubble wrap, Fruful. Oh boy, that is a big bath full of bubbles, Wumpus. Tell Wumpus to save some water for the fishes. Save some water for the fishes, Wumpus. Splash! Fine, maybe bubbles.
bubbles aren't dangerous after all. Butterflies, on the other hand, The Truth About Butterflies by Mogo Pogo. And look, they're all running away from a butterfly. Ah! Silly monsters. I hope you guys enjoyed that book. I hope you have a great last week of summer vacation and you come and see us really soon. Just a reminder, you can get books from our curbside service Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, and you can make an appointment Monday, Wednesday, and Friday to come browse the library. If you have any questions, feel free to call us 719-391-3196, or you can email us spl at wsd3.org and we would be happy to help you. Have a great rest of your summer, guys. Bye!